All right, Matt Marr, Pet Man, Charlotte Football Insiders. We're back once again. Uh, continuing in our series of uh, unsigned seniors and featuring them, we've got a very talented young man from Charlotte Catholic High School, also known as uh, it's the uh, title town. or <laughs> uh, They win a lot of state championships over there, let's put it that way. <laughs> and, um, you know, this young man is a big part of a, a very good defense over there off Park Road, and that is Liam Barbie. And we're going to bring him on with us right now. How's it going? All right, Liam, how we doing? I'm good, man. How you doing today? Good, good. good. Ex excellent, excellent, man. So, first of all, you know, I was very impressed, obviously, looking at your film. Um, and in your opinion, what are your strengths as a football player on the field? I mean, I think I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely a leader out there. You know, uh, coming off of uh, two two back to back seasons where I led my team in tackles and, and playing the middle linebacker position, it's definitely a some at Charlotte Catholic is expected as the, the middle linebacker to, to be a leader out there. And I also think I'm a, I'm a very intellectual player. So, you know, I'm, I'm always watching film, always, always trying to, always trying to be one, one step ahead of the offense. And, uh, and that's something that I, uh, I definitely consider, consider my, my biggest strength is to, uh, is to be not only a coach on the field, but also be able to read the uh, other team's offense. And then when it comes time to it, being able to uh, d d deliver the blow, and uh, you know, you know, make make the running backs pay for it. So, yeah, I mean, like you said, it's a standard over there at Charlotte Catholic. You know, mm -hmm. to have uh, a really, really good defense led by you know some, some great linebackers that have come through there. Okay. Um, you know, two two part question here. One, I know you're coming off an injury. Mm -hmm. Are you fully good to go on that? And then number two, do you feel any pressure to live up to you know the standard that you know Charlotte Catholic has established over the years here? Yeah, so with my injury, you know, I'm uh, I'm fully healed now. I, uh, I I got cleared about a month mm -hmm. ago, so I'm you know done with PT. I'm I'm moving better than ever. I, f I feel way way stronger, uh, a lot more a lot faster uh, after the injury, mm -hmm. uh, just from all the rehab stuff I did. You know, I, I really grinded down. I mean, and for the for a while, I was trying to get back for the season in August, so that was my yeah. goal the whole time. And so when it got pushed back, gave me a little bit extra time. But you know, I'm fully healed mm -hmm. now. I'm ready to go. Awesome. And then with you know playing at Charlotte Catholic, it's uh it's it's like like winning is a tradition there. And, you know, it's uh it's for, for most teams making it to the second or third round would be would be good enough. But at Charlotte Catholic, you know that, that if you lose in the second round, that's a it's a terrible season. You know, every year you gotta gotta go for the, you know, go for go for a ring, and, and that's how we play over there. And uh, I mean, there is some pressure, but I mean, I think. Being in the system for four years and watching the seniors mm -hmm. before me lead uh, every year, you know, I got pulled out my freshman year. So, you know, watching all those all those seniors lead before me, you know, they really set a great example of uh, of what it takes to win at, at, at Catholic. So, so absolutely, absolutely, well said. Very, very good, man. Uh, so, of course, we are doing this to kind of showcase you for recruiting purposes. So, I have to ask you. Uh, what are you looking for from a college on the next level? I mean, I definitely want a, a place that'll set me up for the for the you know life beyond college, having a great education, and then you know of course you always want a place that 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 feels like home, and so that's a big part of me. You know, having a good connection with the coaches there, and you know I also want a place that I can I can compete and at a high level and play good football. So you know I want a chance that I'm able to to come in there and, and contribute. Uh, you know I don't want to. You know, sit on the bench for three years, and then you know, senior year maybe get a chance to play. And I want to go to a place that I can compete uh, because that's who I am. I'm a competitor, so definitely be up there, sir. Very good, very good, man. And those are all excellent points right there. So, in saying that, um, in your opinion, why should a school give you a shot, give you an offer, and then you have a chance to consider, you know, attending that school for the next four years? I mean, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna come in I'm I'm gonna come on day one and 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 work 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 extremely hard to to try to earn a spot on, on the on the playing field. You know, that's uh, like my, like my goal is not just to go to college; it's to go to college and play and and excel. And so that's something I'm gonna bring to the table every day is I'm gonna work hard. And uh, you know, I I think I come from a, a winning tradition at Charlotte Catholic. You know, I'm gonna bring in a, a winning culture. Uh, you know, like like wherever I go. And so I, I just want to, you know, I just want to, and and I'm a competitor, like I said before, I'm going to compete every day out there to to try to earn a spot, and, and I think I'm I'm a guy that you can, 
you, you can put in. And I, I pick stuff up fastly, and I think I'll be able to, uh, you know, pick, pick out whatever th is thrown at me. Excellent. Excellent. Very good, man. All right, so I'm going to bring in our player analyst, Justin Adams, and then we're going to start taking a look at your film and, uh, you know, seeing what you have to offer, you know, for a school on the field on the next level. How we doing, Justin? Pretty good, man. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. Meet Liam. What's going on, man? How you doing? Yeah, man. All right. Let's take, let's take a look at this film and see what we got here. All right. Number 44. You wear 44 for any reason? Uh, well, my freshman year, I was one of the last people to get a, pick a number out, and that was the last one that was uh, available. <laughs> I, I kinda, I just go with it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a good number. So. All right. Before we look at this, I want to go back to this slide right here with your stats on it. I mean, this is incredible. Uh, 180 tackles? Yes, sir. Good yeah. gracious. Wow. I mean, some defenses have that in their season. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, like playing the middle linebacker, you know, we run mostly a four three. So uh, most of the stuff, you know, if, if everyone does their job, usually I'm the I'm the free runner and the free hitter. So you know, I, I have to credit my, uh, my my defensive line and outside linebackers for setting me up with a lot of those. But yeah, it's definitely it's definitely fun fun to fly around. And, yeah, man. And play plays and that's that's incredible right there. All right, let, let's get into this. I'm excited. All right. Oh, okay. All right, let's go back on that. All right, hold on. Okay, all right, so at the snap, what are we looking at here, Liam? Uh, the, the, like, like in this situation, we're actually in a 3-4 uh, because this is Harper, mm -hmm. and they were actually passing the ball pretty well against us. So we're, we're in a 3-4, and we have a little uh, a, a mug, which is a, a middle linebacker. Mm -hmm for me it's a mug twist actually so i'm uh, starting on the okay. opposite side of the nose tackle and he's shooting opposite a gap and i'm going to the strong side a gap and then i i, I rip her i come around him he does a great job you know driving the center tw turn the sh center shoulders around and i uh, I'm, I'm able to go right around him avoid the block and, and, and make the hip flip my hips so. yeah that was a good well, way to fill the I'll hole I mean, you, you described it well, and then it plays out exactly as you describe it mm -hmm. right there. Um, I mean, here's what I like. You know, that that fullback is not even a factor here. I mean, look at this. Oh, yeah. He's assigned for you. Yep. And like you said, your, your nose does a good job of kind of clogging it up, and then he doesn't even get a hit on you. Yeah. And you're free to right there make a nice form tackle. I love that form yeah. tackle right there. You don't see that a lot of that's definitely uh, the goal is to, to put the opposing running back on their back and, and not let them fall forward for that extra yard because that does yeah, that. That's uh, awesome. That's important that you said that because mm -hmm. you see a lot of people, they tackle and they move the guy forward and it gives them that extra yardage. And the name of the game for defense is to stop them you know, for no gains or the minimum gain. So that's definitely, that was definitely a positive right there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at this next one right here. This is uh, South Mick. Yes, sir. This is uh, we're in a three-four again here. Um, uh, it's a mug call, but it's not a, it's not a mug twist. I right. mm -hmm. make the play, get a little hype after. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's, it's good to play with that emotion, man. I yeah, love it. the first play of the game here, so you know, gotta gotta set the tempo early. Oh yeah, you got to. You gotta set the tone yeah. right. So right here, I actually have the option to go a gap or b gap. But uh, uh -huh. I, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I think I, I was just trying to set him up later, and I, I saw that my defensive end. I was trying to let him work a little bit, so I, so I shot a, and then I just beat the running back. Mm -hmm. so. Well, yeah, you you beat this guard right here. Yeah, and then so I would beat the running back. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was where I, I was kind of actually expecting a run there, uh, but then I, I noticed okay. that back, and then I, I tried to do a little rip move and got there. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome right there. I mean, you know, I know that kid can run a little bit, so, you know, that's a good deal right there. Sure. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's cool. Oh, boy. Yep. So, first of all, this is the epic seven overtime game with Kings Mountain. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, that, that crowd right there tells you all you need to know. Yeah, that was, um, that was a fun game. 
for sure. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of big plays in this one. Let's see what we got. No outside zone. Yep. Yeah, but right here we're in a we're in a four three. We're in a four three. I'm uh I'm scraping, checking checking my gap, strong A, and then I'm uh mm -hmm. blowing downhill. So make the play. All right, Justin, what you think right here? He saw it and he shot he shot the gap and he made the play. So that's what you want to see, man. He came down, he came down full force. Uh like I say, he saw the running back and he got to the ball. So that's what you want to see out of a linebacker. You can play sideline yeah, to sideline. So that's true. what it looks like too. And I like that as well. As you could it's not like you're not just in the box. You can actually come outside of the box and uh make plays on the outside. And uh they could probably use it as containment at next level as well. So that's uh that's good. It's just your versatile at linebacker position. Yes, sir. Playing sideline to sideline. That's, that's definitely what sure. I, I try to prime yeah. myself in. Definitely. Yeah, that's the thing I noticed here, just the range. You're starting literally in the middle of the field right here. And look at where you make the play. I'm a A gap, B gap player. And so this is uh I mean, I'm just I'm just flowing. I see flow and I'm I'm kind of a cleanup guy here. Yeah, I don't yeah. think they I don't think they even accounted for me when they were, you know, blocking it. Well, I'll tell you now, as as a former offense coordinator, I if I would account for you, it wouldn't it would have on an outside zone, I'm probably gonna send with the way this is looking, either my center or my my um backside guard to try to cut you off. But, I think Malik actually you know, once a couple of those guys in there, so 75. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Your, your D-line, once again, did a good job of eating those guys up, not letting it get next level, and then you're clean. But you make that play outside the numbers. I mean, that's that's really, really good I'm stuff. Gonna, right. I'm trying to get my helmet across him a little bit more. See. Yeah, that's, that's, man, that's good, though. That's good. I got to ask, man, how were you feeling after that game? I was uh, I was a little – it actually, you know, it wasn't the worst game all season because, you know, we went up and played good counsel in, uh, in mm -hmm. Maryland. And after the good counsel game, I could barely walk. But uh, wow. the Kings Mountain game, it was. Uh, oh wow! Doing that, it was. It wasn't bad. So, so. probably had to take an ice bath for the oh, yeah. next three days after that. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So this one right here is against Monroe. Yes, sir. And so we're in. Who we got right here? So we're in a four-three. We're actually a. Uh, so our outside linebacker actually dropped out of the box. Uh, I think this is like a kind of like a cover six look, covered to the weak side, covered to the strong side. And so I actually, yeah. if you notice, before the play, I kind of look over. I'm like, oh, he's tied number eight. He's not there to my right like usual. And so uh, mm -hmm. you know, and then I'll stop the ball. You know, I, I check check my gaps and the running back kind of takes it out. And I, I'm, I'm on a track here. So I'm flowing right down the line, make the play and, and make sure it goes backwards. So, Yeah, that's good stuff, man. I mean, man. I, I love your your tackling once again. The way you read, you take a read steps and then come right down the line. That's awesome. Textbook linebacker play right there. Yeah. Justin, what you got? Like you said, it's tackling, man. That's definitely uh, you, a for sure tackler. Like you're you're wrapping all the way up. You have your you got your head around on the right side of the of the player, and you you making sure he goes down for minimal gain. So that's definitely a hey, that's textbook right there. You can't. Can't really teach that anymore. People just, you know, people just want to get the big hits, but making sure that they they get stopped from the middle of the game. That's the purpose of a linebacker. So, yes, sir. Like I said, you do you do that perfectly. Appreciate that. All right, we're gonna let this roll into the next one and see what we get. Oh, a little fumble action. Okay. I, I, I got my hand, you know, ripped it out. So, um, took my read. It was a little tight end dump, I think. But, uh, yep. Yep. So, I think right here we're in, or, yeah, we're in cover three. And so, it was uh, mm -hmm. I think, uh, and the, for most of that game, they, they were running with that, that or running back. I think, I think he actually going to Notre Dame. So, you know, he was kind of a big target going in. So, uh, you know, I was just oh, cool, on him. I stepped up, uh, and then I, I saw the dump and got back, and I was like, get, get my hand in there and, and, and rip it out. So, All 
Nice, 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 nice. So, you know, initially the play action, you know, sucked you in, but you're able to recover mm -hmm. and then go force a turnover. I that's mean, that, that's what it's about. It's I mean, take, taking a negative and making it a positive, you know, that that's – that's that was, what great players do right there. That was definitely the thing that I feel like I stepped up from my sophomore year to my junior year was, you know, making those big plays, making the impact plays. Uh, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That was definitely something that I that I focused on. So. Justin, did you have anything on this one? I mean, he created a turnover. I'm pretty sure all, all coaches want to see that turnover. So, uh, like you said, it's an impact play. And uh, it definitely changed the projective of the game. So, uh that was a great job on that. All right, let's take a look at the next one. No, oh, this is good because you're in space. Okay. Yep. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So right here, we're in a we're in a what are we? We're in a cover three look. We're uh, we're rushing four. So we're almost in a four two because I oh, don't know. No, we're in a four three right here cover three look, and then I'm, I'm flipping my hips. My job is to get a hook curl, but I'm reading three. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, mm -hmm. count one, two, three. So that, that's my guy inside stop. Yeah. So I'm, uh, right here, I'm mm -hmm. just thinking, I'm just thinking I'm attacking his inside hip because I know I got my safety sitting right above me there. So I'm just trying to take away inside. I reroute him a little bit, and then I come come down and make the QB pay for, for scrambling right there. So. <laughs> I, I, I like that. I like the way you said that. You make the QB pay for scrambling, boy. Woo. Yeah, that's you get me fired up, man. Yeah, you know that's at, at every every yard. You know, you gotta you gotta get out pay for it with a, with a big hit. Everyone, yeah. wow, so. it's definitely definitely. I'm surprised he didn't slot on that. Yeah, well, I think I don't know what he was doing. I guess he won the first down, so yeah, I don't think he was getting it right here. Again, I mean, right another play in the wood, right there, boy. Another. Another play where you made the, the minimum minimum yardage for them. They say he went back instead of going forward. So, like I said, that's that's big right there. Because he could have got the first if you if you went forward. You know what I mean? So you stopped him from doing that. So, like I said, just I, I can see that you know you know where you're where you're on the field and you know where the sticks are and you know where the the offense is trying to get to and you make sure that they get stopped before they get there. So that's definitely a plus uh, for causes, man. Cause coaches got to see that and. I would want that on my team if I'm a college coach for sure. Yes, sir. I appreciate so, that. So let let me say this, man. I love these blue uniforms. When y'all debuted yeah. these, oh, yeah. yeah, it was it was nice. Yeah, that's cool. Those were uh, <laughs> when well, Coach Brado pulled them out. I was like, hey, that's what's up. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. do they have blue pants as well? No, nah, it's, it's only it's only the top. Uh, blue pants. But, like, you know, the, 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 the blue the blue kind of goes good with everything. Yeah, it go blue on uh, white. Yeah. All right, so what we got here? I think this is Cutberson, right? Yeah, it's Cutberson. It's a, actually a, I think it's pretty early in the game. It's a it's a fourth and fourth and inches actually, uh, mm -hmm. and so we have, we have a, a plug call, which is kind of like a mug call, but it's in our, our four three set. So uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just like right here. I was kind of expecting a QB sneak. So we actually call it a split here too. So we're not really in a four three like a traditional four three where you have uh, your no sack on weak side A and your your three technique in a in a in a like a, a strong B technique or strong B lineup and strong. Yeah. They're actually split, so they're both kind of uh, line stacking over the guards, and I'm stacking right over the center. And then uh, I just they leave me on block, and I I stuff the fullback side. Boy, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I get excited about stuff like this. So, first off, as an OC, I'm not accounting for you just being unblocked in the A-gap. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm going to fuss at my offensive line. Yeah. But you stop this guy stone cold, man. Like He yeah. has no chance right here. Yeah. I mean, this is awesome. I mean, good gracious. Yeah. I mean, you can barely got the ball. <laughs> I mean, you literally almost take the snap. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely jump on the snap. Right? Oh, that's, that's great. That's great recognition right there. Good job. All right, Justin, what you got on that? Oh, yeah, another run stop. Like I said, another minimum yardage play right there. This is what you've been showcasing the whole time during, uh, throughout this whole uh, showcase on, on your film. So, like I said, any coach that sees this definitely should take a chance on you because, like I said, you, you're stopping them for the minimum yardage. So, 
That's great, man. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. All right, let, all right, let's do one more. Just because I like I like seeing I like this stuff. <laughs> all right, let's let me back. All right, what we got here to snap? So lo looks like we're in a we're kind of in a like a, a, a cover stick. So like we're playing uh, cover two the weak side, and we're cover three the uh, strong side. We're actually in a, a three three look here, and so we have mm -hmm. a, it's our, our nickel package. So we have extra DB back there, and so right here I'm I'm kind of a free like a a, a free cover guard here. So uh, you know, okay. our outside linebackers are picking up, are, are picking up kind of the the, uh, the twos, and then I'm just kind of floating in the middle looking for anything. So uh, I, I kind okay. of I kind of see a post here, and our, our safety does a great job making the hit, and I, I make the pick. So all right, let's take a look at it. Let's see. Nice, nice. This is some real good defensive football, man. Real good, real good. I actually think I got a, a finger on it when I when I jumped up at first, and then uh, and then and then I'm make it big. Yeah, this is a pretty well. First off, my this is pretty bold by the quarterback because you you're getting great depth already. Oh yeah. I mean, you're sitting right there under it. Yeah. Great recognition. Yeah. Okay. Excellent job, and that, that was right Excellent. before the half. So uh, you know, if it wasn't, I would have I would have tried to run it out a little bit, but you know, just take mm -hmm. it. <laughs> so here's my thoughts: You are exceptional at stopping the run. I mean, this is one of the best films I've looked at. You know, in the off season, doing all this stuff. Um, but the ability to drop in pass coverage for a middle linebacker at the high school level is exceptional right here. I mean, you don't see that very often, you know. And, you know, the emotion, the leadership, the football knowledge, I mean, it's it's really, you know, off the charts to me. You know, that's my final thought on this. Uh, Justin, what do you what do you have to say here? Uh, it's an athletic play right there, man. Like you said, he dropped back in coverage. Uh, he had great hips on that. Uh, you made a play on the ball. You tipped it, and you actually had great concentration with coming down with the interception. So that was a uh, that was a great play right there. Absolutely. Did you, did you have thoughts about getting it up and taking it back to the to the crib? Well, I, I was, I was <laughs> uh, thinking about that, but it was it was right before half. They were driving a little bit. Our offense was. Oh, uh, I got you. So I was that like, was smart. Was, that, was, that was definitely smart. Yeah, <laughs> down the end zone and you know go, go to half. So. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, I, I keep saying we're gonna do the last one, but I just want to see. I was this, gonna keep this is a pretty good play. <laughs> All right, a little screen. Oh, I'm glad we stayed with it. Yeah, nice. All right, so take us through this one. So right here, we're in a we're in, we're in a three. Looks like we're in a, a three three again. So we have our nickel package. I think it's kind of a, a second mm -hmm. and third and long right here. And so we're, we're, we're again, we're in a, we're playing cover to the weak side, cover through the strong side. And then, you know, I'm just, again, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a free guy in coverage here because we are only rushing three. So, you know, I'm just looking for anything. Mm -hmm. And then I, you know, I recognize the screen and I, and I saw a gap and I shot it and, I, you know, I made the play. So. All right. Let's see this thing again. My goodness. Yeah. They all, <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna tell you they all didn't block you, which yeah. Uh, once again, I'd, I'd be I'd be fussing at my offensive line because I'm like, there's three of you and none of you decided to block the middle linebacker, the closest threat. But, <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought, I thought one of them might take me out, but I shot there. <laughs> but I mean it, the recognition is the big thing right here. Like you said, you yeah. saw it, you broke on it, you broke it up. Great form tackle once again. Um, and then I love the emotion after it. I'm gonna let it play so we can see the emotion after it because I mean that just shows how into the game you are, man. Yeah, that's right. Incomplete. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, what's your thoughts on this? Let this last one will do. Yeah, I like how you scoped out the play and then you ran full speed straight to the ball. So and you made sure that, that that he was on the ground. So like, like I said. You can't teach that right there, man. That's just, that's just effort right there. That's making things happen. And uh, 
That's helping. That's helping your team. Yes, sir. Right yeah, excellent, excellent stuff right here. Good gracious, wow. All right. Um, I think I've said my thoughts. I mean, I'm just super impressed with this whole package, Liam. Uh, sure. Justin, what, what's your final thoughts? Here? It's just, just a great linebacker, man. Uh, like I said, very explosive, very athletic, uh, a run stopper. Somebody I would, uh, that any coach would want to have on their team for sure, definitely at the linebacker position. Uh, like I say, he, he's a sideline to sideline linebacker, so uh, he could cover the field. He could draw back in the coverage as we saw on that one play. Uh, smart kid, definitely, definitely would, would like to have him on the on the team. Anywhere, anywhere that gets you is definitely is definitely going to be lucky to have you on their team for sure. I agree. I mean, one of the best films I've seen all off these. No, definitely, I mean, definitely. Do you have offers right now? Yeah, I have a I have a couple of offers from uh, like a, a, a Valpo, uh, but Butler, and um, and and those are like my, my two main offers right now. So I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still. Uh, you know, trying to you know make a decision, and, and hopefully I can I can make one pretty soon. So, okay, cool. okay. Well, hopefully you know we can get you some more exposure, and I think the more coaches see this, um, yeah, uh, hopefully you know they'll be able to, to pull the trigger and you know give you some more options. You know, so well, well, I, I really uh, appreciate it. No, thank you for the time, man. We appreciate it as well. We'll get this out as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Sure, man.